Okay, I'm at Josie Lewis's studio in Minnesota and check out her resin chamber. She's gonna give us a quick tour. Here's the resin chamber. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. My husband designed it and built it. It's got plastic kind of on every every surface, yeah. sides. There's a zipper that There's makes a it. zipper that will open and shut. Wow. And then you come on in here. Wow. And here's the table where I'll put the pieces that I'm going to pour flat so I can okay. pour onto them. And then I've got my messy mixing bowls, my real messy oh, yeah. spatulas. This is where I do the mixing, so there's a, there's just a fume evacuation right here okay. just for safety. And, and, then, there. and then there's more here. Oh, the fans that actually go up. The fan is a little loud, but I'll turn it on yeah. for a second. And it goes all the way, and then does that just go outside? Or? It goes outside, yep. It vents right outside. Look at that. There's air intake down at the bottom. Oh. Something I'm particularly proud of is Look at this. my husband and I designed this system with these um, pumps mm -hmm. that we can pump the resin through these little hoses and it goes so all the way up the, the hose, hose goes up and the goes hose. all the way up here and then into these little into these things. chambers that are exactly measured so I can do the hardener and the resin. Okay. And then Fill them all the way up to wherever I want. Uh, um, and there's actually even a little heater in there. What? Thermometer here, so I can heat the resin oh, up I to, can't. I usually get it up to about 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which uh -huh. is kind of my preferred mixing temperature. Wow. And then I can, you know, open the taps, run it into my Let's mixing bowl. Wow. And then, you know, usually I stir it as it's pouring out because it pours out a yep. little bit slowly. Okay. I can see exactly how much, so I don't have to like Brilliant. use a separate receptacle to like me to measure. I can just pour it straight into the bowl. All right. And then I'll finish up the the mixing here. Yep. And then I bring my bowl over here. I pour the stuff on whatever bark, I'm bark, pouring. Bark, 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 bark. I have a heat gun because sometimes I work vertically, but I also use a torch for the flat stuff because it works really nice to get the bubbles out. Torch, I have yeah. gloves and I have a big apron because I tend yeah. to get resin on every available surface. We all do. Well, thanks for sharing that. This is the most elaborate resin chamber I've ever seen. And then no dust gets in here, no right. dogs allowed. Dust free. Cool. And then it also keeps everything contained. The chamber. The chamber. Thank you so much. <laughs> cool.